This is Sophie Heller, and this is an ACT English Fragments and Meaning question. With a question dealing with fragments, you want to make sure that none of the answer choices are going to give you a sentence fragment, or something that isn't a full sent a sentence that can stand alone. So let's look at our answer choices first to see which ones are sentence fragments and which ones we can keep because they're not fragments. Okay, so our first answer choice uses the since. So we have since Einstein discovered unsuspected connections among these questions. This sounds like a really great start to a sentence, but with a since, it's a dependent clause, so you'd need since Einstein discovered, then something else happened. So since this, um, this since clause can't stand alone, it's a fragment, that's not going to be good. So let's um, eliminate that answer. Okay, our next choice is however. So we have however, Einstein discovered unsuspected connections among these questions. Not a fragment, so we'll leave that for the, for the time being. Um, our next one uses this inasmuch, which is a very kind of strange word. Um, it says, inasmuch as Einstein discovered unsuspected connections among these questions. Also not going to work, so this inasmuch is functioning as a because or a since. Um, so that's also not going to be a good choice. So our next choice we have therefore. We have therefore Einstein discovered unsuspected connections among these questions. So we see that um, our second choice with however and our fourth choice with therefore are both complete sentences and work. So now that we've weeded out the fragments, we're gonna to wanna to think about which conveys the author's meaning the best. So the best way to, guess, to get um, to sum this up is to look at the beginning of the, of the um, paragraph and know um, what the author is trying to convey and then see what kind of meaning we want in the second sentence. So the first sentence tells us that we have these three simple questions and they're summing up these areas that mystified. So here's our key word, the sum, mystified. Um, the great Albert Einstein in his lifetime. What is space, what is time, what is gravity? And then we have, um, it's telling us that Einstein, he um, discovered these unsuspected connections among these questions. So we have a bit of a contrast. We have um, the idea that Einstein is mystified by everything that's happening here and the idea that Despite the fact that he was mystified, he discovered these unsuspected connections. So we're going to want to find a word that's going to transition, but also emphasize this contrast. So since we're looking for this contrast, um, therefore wouldn't make as much sense because it would say that he was mystified, therefore he discovered. We usually, it usually doesn't work like that. If you're mystified by something, it's not a direct connection that you're going to discover the answer to the thing that confuses you. So therefore doesn't make as much sense as however. So however provides this great contrast um, and tells us that even though he was, we have this, this mystified, he still discovered everything he was mystified by. So however is gonna make the most sense from a meaning perspective.